There's always a question in using a laser pointer on how to know when your colloidal silver has reached its uh, end of production period. As I mentioned, mentioned before in other videos and as I mentioned on the website, you'll gain um, fairly quickly after just a few batches an idea of what your favorite level of colloid nanoparticle density is for, the, for your end product. Now, what I have done, this is I have just completed production of this particular batch. Um, I used 12 volts for four and a half to five hours. And because I have discovered over time that 12 volts, four to five hours, uh, provides me with a, an extremely effective, uh, very high quality, very stable product. And this is, I store this in this glass jar with a metal lid that doesn't seem to affect anything up in the kitchen cabinet and out of view of the sunlight. I have discovered that UV rays over an extended period can discolor and cloudy, make the colloidal silver cloudy, the solution. So I would advise that you just store it in a, in a, uh, in a dark place unless you have an amber or cobalt blue jar to store your colloidal silver in. I would not store it over time in plastic, even though I have used plastic containers as spray bottles to, to spray silver when I'm disinfecting. Now, I've been making colloidal silver, nanoparticle colloidal silver like this for almost three years now. And my colloidal silver solution always comes out looking like this. Very clear and very stable. Three months from now, six months from now, because I've, I've produced it six months in advance, the silver will appear exactly like this in my kitchen cabinet. It does not alter, does not change color, um, does not lose effectiveness, and remains extremely stable. I know there's a lot of websites that say that colloidal silver must absolutely have a color or it's not colloidal silver. Well, I did discover that even in this process you can generate a color. It's sort of a pale champagne color by simply letting the production time run longer. So I have a laser pointer that if you order the little black box kit you'll get one automatically uh, but they are available as an accessory item on the site. I have enough light on this camera it is extremely sensitive to to light and, and of course very intense light so I have some light on just to make the beam more realistic in the camera's eyes but I would suggest that you view this in a darkened room, uh, turn all the lights out or take it into a darkened room, let the air bubbles and let the, let the water in production completely calm down and then, and then uh, let any bubbles that might be suspended in the water also calm as well. But this, this product was made a day or two ago and if I'm shining my laser beam through this, you can see the level of density in this beam that is apparent with a four and a half to five hour production time with 12 volts. And this was absolutely, you must, to get this level of clarity, density, and effectiveness, you've got to be agitating the water. And we do that with a small aquarium air pump, also available on the site and as part of the kits if you don't have one and don't want to shop for one yourself. All of the air pumps also come with three feet of vinyl tubing. So there you have, this is what you can expect, okay? Just make sure that you're viewing this in a darkened room and um, highly recommend uh, the laser pointer. As always, never point the laser directly in anyone's face or don't ever look at it directly yourself and turn it on. So anyway, it's a great little device, great little tool, but I'm asked all the time, how do I know when my colloidal silver is ready? This is what you can expect with our units uh, after roughly four and a half hours at the voltage settings that we, that we have. All right. Hey, thanks for coming by.